Okay, first thing, uh, this is number 29. First thing to do to solve this problem would be to get everything onto the same side. Secant squared x minus secant of x minus 2 equals 0. Uh, and then I'm going to factor. Secant x, secant x, 2, 1. Uh, the negative sign would go here. The positive sign would go here. That's the only way you're going to get a middle term of negative secant because this would be positive secant and this would be negative 2 secant. Okay, moving on, I'd get secant then uh, plus 1 equal to 0. That's this one. This means that secant equals negative 1. And then we can look on our sheet between 0 and 360. When does this happen? Between 0 and 360, secant equals negative 1. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm at 180 degrees. Okay, then we can do this second part. When does the secant of x minus 2 equals 0? Add 2. I get secant of x equal to 2. Looking at my sheet again, between 0 and 360, this happens twice. This happens at x equals 60. And it happens again when x equals 300. Okay, so these would be your three answers.